Well, developers of surveillance systems in Japan are coming up with new ways all the time to try to keep people safe. Some of the technology they're working on hasn't even hit the market yet, but already some people are concerned it will threaten their privacy. An unmanned surveillance helicopter that tracks suspicious people. Equipped with camera and LED spotlights, the drone can take detailed images of the person it is tracking. A major security services company developed the device and hopes to make it available by March of next year. You have no blind spots. You can watch what you want from the best possible angle. Another electronics company has developed new surveillance technology. The system uses fragmentary information from eyewitnesses to track a suspicious person. If the person's wearing a dark blue jacket, you tell the system to look for dark blue. Data is taken from eyewitness information, such as location and easy-to-remember colors of clothing and belongings, and entered into the system. Multiple surveillance cameras in a network quickly find the suspect and transmit video data. There is a huge amount of images from security cameras. We want to use that data to develop technologies for locating people. However, there is growing concern about such technological innovations. A communications institute planned to test facial recognition cameras at a major train station in Osaka, but the project was postponed due to strong objection from commuters. A major electronics manufacturer is developing a system that blurs people's faces in video images in real time. The technology is an effort to protect privacy and prevent complaints. No one is sure what is permissible under current laws. I hope the government will introduce legislation enabling further utilization of data. The government is set to revise the personal information protection law. The Abe administration wants to boost the economy by utilizing information from surveillance cameras and other devices while protecting privacy. You may feel uneasy if you are identified, but if individual identifications are decreased and there's no harm to the identified person, I think it's good for corporations to fully utilize personal information in order to grow. But an expert says Japan's legislation is vague compared with the directives of the EU. They prohibit the collection of personal information obtained from surveillance cameras without the person's consent and provide the right to request disclosure. It seems the government wants to sell systems overseas, but if they ease regulations to make that easier, it would increase public resistance that would have a negative impact. Political and industry leaders have various opinions on how to balance the use of personal data and protecting privacy. It is just one example of the challenges advanced technology poses for our society.